Shoe Hall. I am Curtis Shoe. Thanks for watching, y'all. I might buy an auction. I might find some cash. I might find some vintage toys. I might haul some trash. I might find Grandma's jewelry box. Or maybe Grandpa's dentures. You never know just what I'll find. It's always an adventure. All right, this is uh, 540 right now. This is rush hour traffic going into Atlanta. All right, so I just drove back from Roswell, Georgia, picking up this lot of toys. Uh, honestly, I haven't even gone through it. And uh, because of the coronavirus stuff, they just left it on the porch. And I went out there and grabbed it. little stuff in here that's great oh wow Oh, well, okay. Yeah. This, is, this goes with him. I'm supposed to have a cord, I believe. I had that when I was a kid. Oh, it's just so much. He's torn.
Okay, I'm going to go through this box in more detail now. And let me tell you the story of this first. Um, this lady contacted me and sent me a few pictures. I told her with my store being closed right now that I wasn't doing any buying. And she told me to just come pick the stuff up off of her porch for free. And there's some really amazing stuff in here. And uh, I hope she sees this and knows just how grateful I am. Um, things are really tough right now. Nobody knows what's happening as far as businesses and uh, the timeline of things being closed. So I'm just very grateful and kind of overwhelmed. And I'm going to get down to digging through this amazing lot of toys. Some of these are missing parts, but they're still very useful and someone will repair them if I don't. Save this for last. Tons of small stuff in here. I'll have to probably move the camera and just do that by hand. That's all of the biggest stuff. I had that Superman when I was a kid. That's my favorite. I haven't seen one since I was a kid. I just love it. I found his arms. Cool collection of erasers. It's been doing some separating.
piece this whole Joe together. I think I have all of his parts. All right, here we go. Going into the bag. I know I showed most of this earlier. Still pretty amazed. That's Buck Rogers, something like that. This guy in the bag I am. This is just amazing. All right, I'm about to wrap this video up. I really want to say thank you to Miss Linda and to her son that owned this lot of toys. This is an amazing gift. And to all my customers, you'll be able to find these at Transporter Vintage and Retro. Just as soon as I can get opened up again. Thank you all. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, I just want to say, you know, times are tough on everyone right now, so I'm not going to complain. Um, there's no telling what's going to happen, you know. Just uh, keep your loved ones close. Do the best you can. Make sure no one around you is really needing anything. 
Um, if you have elderly people around you and you're heading out to a store anyway, give them a call. Ask them, what could I pick up for you? And leave it outside. You know, keep these. I went to Kroger. There were so many elderly people in there with no face masks, no gloves. The store is still crowded. There has to be someone that can shop for them. I know they're starting the uh, one hour in the morning for elderly people only, and that's great. But if you can help someone around you, please do. Love each other. Be safe.